Good morning and welcome back to the Knotted Needle. My name is Ellen. Um, we just, we've had some interesting logistics this morning. And as you can see, it's done! This is my Cascades Tea um, in Divina. It is a Knit Picks uh, pattern. This turned out really, really well. I'm very, very pleased and it feels like it took forever and it probably did, but it's done and I will wear it probably tomorrow. And so, having said that, we're gonna do another quick blast of summer knits and summer teas, just in case you're really sick of Christmas or you're just not quite ready to do that yet. So, this one. Look at the shoulder detail. Just kills me. It's called Meeting Points. It is Hinterm Stein. And it is, it was, it's a brand new one, May of 2020. We've all been locked up knitting away. The designers have been locked up too, designing away. And there's lots and lots and lots of new things to see. So that was one of the ones that caught our eye. It is written for fingering. We have, this is Merino Yak from Regia and Shock and Mare. It is beautiful. And I'm gonna do another plug for Nancy. She's knitting on something, and I think one of her friends said that it was done. I haven't seen it done. I saw it in process in one of the darker blues in this lovely merino yak. It was gorgeous. There, it's not a texture thing. It's um, a color thing. This has very subtle coloration in it. I don't know that you can see it. You, maybe you just need to come and see it for yourself. But I didn't realize how that would behave until I saw the fabric knitted. It was impressive. And so I think because of the beautiful detail in meeting points, it would be a stunning pick. However, if you chose to do it in Zula Squishy or you chose to do it in some other beautiful um, fingering weight that we have, it will be not lovely. It wouldn't matter. And this is Galicia, if I'm saying that correctly. G-A-L-I-C-I-A. It is written by Emily Welford. And this is a pattern that was developed specifically for Serena from Manos del Uruguay, and it, we have it in boatloads of colors. We have it in um, multicolors too, but you lose the beautiful lace on the back. So here are some of the solids that we have, and this is beautiful stuff. Nice, it's gonna hold the lace pattern, but it will be drapey enough based on the alpaca content um, it's 60% baby alpaca and 40% Pima cotton. It's lovely. We do have a sample knitted up in the store um, that we had knit last year in um, this. So if you want to see what the fabric feels like and looks like, um, we do have an example. And then, if you like jewels in your knitting, this is Catherine. It's a free pattern on Rowan's website, so that's knitrowan.com, and this is written specifically for Summer Light DK, which we have in boatloads. It's just a really cute pattern, and it you can see at the top, it specifically says Swarovski, where are you? There it is, Swarovski crystals, somewhere in this garment, I believe at the neckline and around the bottom, there are crystal beads. So if you've not dipped your toe in um, beaded knitting, that might be a way to do it. Um, you can always sew them on after as well. I did um, a little faux necklace for one of my daughters when she was younger on a, a t-shirt they had, you know, pretty ribbon detail, so she only ever wore it to church. Um, 
but she said, Mama, that just looks like a necklace when I was all done with it. So she was really excited. So that could be your very own necklace piece. And then for you who crochet, this is Wool Addict Sunshine Yarn. This is on Lang's website. Um, it is free. And we do have this yarn in lots of colors, several neutrals. So we have black and this beautiful silvery gray. And because, you know, and this one's not mercerized, it, is it mercerized? Hello? Yes, it is. Not quite as shiny as some, but very pretty. There's the blue version. And then if you need a little bit more color, blue and orange. So that I think would behave nicely here. And it's cute, just a quick little cover up to go over your t-shirt. Just a little way to keep a little bit warmer in case you get chilled by the air conditioning or just plain frozen depending on where you sit. And then one last one. This is Gilligan and that is Carol Feller. She does a lot of her own um, photo shoots. Her husband is her photographer and so this t-shirt is called Gilligan and we think that since it's written for DK, we just got in a new shipment of Cleo. Not just in this color, we have purples and reds and pretty pinks and about six different shades of blue. That many of green as well. And several neutrals. So lots and lots of things to do with Cleo. Or if you wanted it a little drapier, a little softer, this again is Sammy. We have that in eight or nine colors mm -hmm. and it knits up beautifully and it holds a texture. So this little detail bit at the bottom would be really, really pretty. And Cleo holds, holds detail too. It's just the softer cotton. I was really surprised when I knit that little swatch that it held the texture the way that it did. Um, if you haven't seen the swatch and you haven't felt the Sammy, you need to come on in and, and give it a squeeze test. This was just our quick little, if you still need a bite of summer edition, before we continue on with our Christmas thoughts. Next time.